Today, I'd like to talk about error-prone bypass in E. coli or the source response. But first of all, I'd like to tell you a little about DNA damage. DNA is susceptible to damage that can be caused by cellular process and external factors. The reason for that is DNA structure which involves hydrogen bonds and intermolecular forces. DNA damage disrupts DNA coding capacity and DNA structure. A cell has various mechanisms to deal with DNA damage. Error-prone bypass is one of these mechanisms that E. coli uses to deal with DNA damage. This process is also known as translation DNA synthesis. In E. coli, if bulky DNA lesions are not repaired prior to replication, the lesion is bypassed by translation polymerases. This process is called error-prone bypass. Damage-induced mutagenesis is oftentimes the result of error-prone bypass mechanism. This is a double-stranded DNA molecule which carries a damaged region on its template strand. DNA polymerase 3 is the enzyme that is responsible for the DNA replication in E. coli. DNA polymerase 3 replicates DNA in a 5' to 3' direction. Once DNA polymerase 3 encounters a damaged site, it stalls. We will return back to this step, but first I'd like to tell you a little about what happens simultaneously. Error-prone bypass can be induced in response to UV damage. RecA is an essential protein for error-prone bypass process and for DNA repair, but is also a major player in DNA recombination. Its co-protease activity is stimulated by UV light and this is what starts the error-prone bypass process. LexA is a transcription repressor of error-prone bypass system. But in the presence of UV, it is cleaved and inactivated by the RecA coprotease. With the release of cleaved Lex A repressor, the UMUDC operon becomes active, and UMUD and UMUC genes are transcribed. UMUD is translated and clipped by RecA, and UMUD prime is formed. UMUD prime interacts with UMUC another UMUD C operon encoded protein to form UMUD prime C complex. UMUD prime C complex is also known as DNA polymerase 5. Let's return back to our DNA polymerase 3. When DNA polymerase 3 comes across a damaged site, it stalls being unable to continue past the damage. In its place, DNA polymerase 5 is recruited to the replication fork. DNA polymerase 5 has the ability to bypass DNA lesions. During this process, beta subunit of DNA polymerase 3 and RecA assist DNA polymerase 5. RecA forms a nuclear protein filament in an ATP-dependent manner. While synthesizing DNA across from the damaged region, DNA polymerase 5 inserts random nucleotides into the newly produced DNA strand, causing mutations. As DNA polymerase 5 proceeds, RecA dissociates from template DNA. After the lesion bypassed by DNA polymerase 5, DNA polymerase 3 can again take over and continues the replication process. DNA polymerase 3 completes the replication process. Mutations in the region complementary to the damaged region of DNA are introduced by the error-prone bypass. Is that a good thing? You decide. But I'd say mutations are much better alternative than stalled replication forks and cell death. Thank you for watching. 